And off up the middle, here comes Palmer, breaking it to the five, breaks a tackle to the three, and scores for the VMI Cadets. Spinning his way in from nine yards out. Here comes Christopher to boot it left to right with the left foot. This one will be much deeper and more green will take it. Subbing for Nick O'Brien at the Bucktail 5. Up the numbers to the 20, to the 25. Breaks a tackle to the 30. High steps a man to the 35. And Stephon Moore Green takes it to the Bucktail 40 yard line. Coach Susan Kevin has said Stephon Moore Green, who's about a buck 30 in terms of poundage with his pads on. With his pads on. He really has some nice moves. It'll be first and 10 Bison at the Bucktail 40. Third and 11, Kedetz leading this 6 nothing first period. Two wide outs left, two right. Cobb in the shotgun with that hard count. Here's a blitz. It's picked up. Cobb throws it downfield. It's going to be picked. Coming down the far sideline for the Bison. To the 50, to the 40, to the 35, to the 30 is Belene. He'll take it to the Kedetz 15. Oh, my almighty. Buckdale does what VMI did. And Marine comes up with the huge kick and is finally tackled at the VMI 16 and he was waiting on that. Offset I'm you under center. Play action to Fresh Knock. He He's has open. time. You throws it deep to Carter down at the 10. He will gather it in at the 7. And it'll be dropped at the VMI 5-yard line. First and goal, orange and blue. I formation, you under center, Ned Bent. He'll go play action. Now he's going to tuck it in and run. Now he'll throw it to Carter. And ladies and gentlemen, it is six. Touchdown! Your Bucknell Bison! That was a nifty play. Fake the handoff up the middle. You had a run pass option. He rolled out, thought about running, but then seeing Carter streaking to the back of the end zone, he throws it, and Willie does what he always does, catches touchdowns. And he gets open again. As you'll see, he'll come from the far side of the field, come all the way across to the right side side, Mew rolls out, hits him right in stride, one, two feet in, touchdown in the NFL and in college football. Thank you very much. At the 36 of VMI, Cobb will go with a pass over the middle. No, he'll go sky high down the near sideline. It's a jump ball. It'll be intercepted. Ola Lately gets his first pick this year. It was a jump ball for the 5'9 redshirt sophomore sprinter, Pete Reed, but throwing it into a stiff breeze down that near sideline. Cobb gets his second pick, and Ola Lately making his first career start, gets pick number two on Cobb. That is the definition of perfect coverage. He was right there the whole time. Formulaley put himself between the receiver and the ball. Second down and about five for Bucknell in the pistol. It'll be a delay handoff. Here's a big hole for DeVoria. He'll break it in midfield. He'll break it to the 47 of VMI. And he spun down at the key that's 45. That's a nifty play. The pistol. View to throw. He'll throw it complete to Haran. Haran makes a man miss at the 40, and he'll come up the far sideline. He'll be stopped short of a first down, but only by a yard. It'll be third and one. There's a pass by Mew. It'll be caught by Haran. He'll make a man miss down the near sideline to the 30, to the 25, to the VMI 20. It'll be a first and 10 Bison. He made a man miss before Kratzenberg can bring him down, but boy, Jack Haran has made his presence known on this drive, Kevin. Second and four blitz. Mew going to pass. He'll throw it out of the backfield to Carter. He'll grab it at the 10. He'll grab it at the five. He will score into the end zone six. Touchdown! Your Buckdell Bison as Bucknell gets it from you to Carter for the second time here today, Kevin. And they are a pretty, very potent combination, shall we say. Inside handoff, no, a fake, and here's Cobb to the three, to the two, to the one, touchdown, VMI. Cobb faked it to Keys going left, and then Cobb took a right to rush for his first touchdown on the ground this year, and now VMI is going to try and tie this up with a two-point conversion. Mew under center, hands off, fresh knock right. He'll cut it back left. He'll make a man miss at midfield. He'll run over another man at the 45, and he'll be dropped at the VMI 43-yard line. Back in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, 14-14 game, VMI and Bucknell. On a first and 10, Mew will pass it out of the backfield right side. Carter makes a man miss, and he'll take it for another first down. So he'll scamper his way to the 30-yard line of the Kedets. First and 10, handoff fresh knock, and fresh knock will break three to the 50, to the 45. He'll break it outside to the 40. He'll break a tackle at the VMI 35. He'll finally be wrestled out of bounds inside the Kedets 20 at the 19-yard line. It'll be a 22-yard kick to try and give Bucknell a three-point lead. At 17-14, with under nine minutes left, Older is Romingo. 
I like this angle, Doug. This is more in his wheelhouse with the angle. 22 yard kick placement is down. Kick winds to the goal post to our right. It splits the uprights. Good. And Buckdale has the lead. 17 14. Third down and about eight for VMI, trailing by three in the fourth quarter at the Buckdale 34. Cobb with a hard count, goes to pass, has time, throws it over the middle, and it's intercepted! Center gets the third pick today on the quarterback, Cobb, and he'll take it to the 35. Center getting his first real action, comes up with a huge pick as he was reading Cobb's eyes, Kevin. And remember, VMI kicked a field goal at the end of regulation to tie it up last year in Lexington. Here is Palmer dragged down in the backfield by the old Patriot League defensive lineman, Abdullah Anderson. Palmer jittered, chattered, and junked it. That's a loss of five, second and 15 key points. And I don't think anybody even got a helmet on Anderson that time. He came through quite clean. Well, was right now, Palmer's telling his lineman, please don't let him through. Holder is swingle, placement is down, kick winds to the goalpost to our left, and it splits the uprights. Good, and VMI, just like last year, Kevin, has tied it up. Now, they tied it up with no time left on the clock last year. Buckdale won in overtime down in Lexington. He was going to try and win this game here today. The freshman, it was three for four from field goal range. It'll be a 13, it'll be a 23 yard kick to win this game in overtime. Low snap, kick up and shot! Blocked by the Bison! Picked up and run in by VMI, but it will be first overtime over. And I don't know who blocked it, but whoever did, what a great job. Doug, I have to steal a line from the late Jack Buck. I can't believe what I just saw. That was blocked by, they put Ad, they put Davenport out, Julian Davenport. I wondered if it was, da I saw a 90 get, a, or I saw a Whitlock up there too, and I wondered if it was either Whitlock or Davenport. It was Davenport, Kevin. Remember, he's six feet seven inches. VMI at the Buckdale 12, needing a field goal to win in overtime. Hand off, left side, Palmer cuts it back right, and he'll go touchdown VMI. Nikita stormed the field and payback the Bison for last year's overtime defeat in Lexington. 